Icy plains, soaring mountains, and atmosphere blowing into space. Alex Dimitrik reports those are just the very early findings from this week's flyby of Pluto from a spacecraft built right here in Maryland. On Wednesday, NASA released the first close up images of Pluto, showing the kind of fine detail the New Horizons spacecraft is capable of producing. As it races away, the collected data is being sent back in bursts, something that will take months to complete. It's during this time that we're going to be able to obtain the data from the flyby. Today, NASA released the latest images and scientific findings. By looking at Pluto as it passes in front of the sun, a thin atmosphere of nitrogen and methane was measured, atmosphere blowing into space from the solar wind. It's about 500 tons per hour of material that's being, that is escaping. I saw this image the first time. I decided I was going to call it not easy to explain terrain. <laughs> a vast icy plain with shallow trenches and what looks like low hills. Another section of the planet shows mountains as high as the Rockies. Plains and mountains, signs Pluto is geologically active. I'm still having to remind myself to take deep breaths. I mean, <laughs> it, the, the landscape is just astoundingly amazing. And the spacecraft built and controlled by the Hopkins Applied Physics Lab in Howard County? What a historic week. Uh, in particular, the heart of uh, New Horizons that's beating. Those controlling New Horizons say traveling three billion miles over nine and a half years is like hitting a golf ball in New York. And putting it in the cup in LA. That's the kind of precision that this team has done. And the payoff is only just beginning. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. The public's interest in Pluto is soaring. According to NASA, billions of people worldwide have been following this close encounter on TV and social media.